Hey guys, it is. Oh, it's starting. Here we go. It's thinking. It goes slow. All right. I don't even know what's going on. There we go. It's live. Hey guys, it is time for your weekly message from spirit for the energy of December 14th through December 20th, 2020. We are in really powerful, magical, clear, necessary, divine energy right now. I know people are like, that's what Spirit's been saying for six years now. Well, we are in eclipse season. Okay, so lunar solar eclipse. We are going through a lot of big shifts. We've got the grand conjunction, the great conjunction coming up on the 21st. You can see the link below. Uh, David, another channel, and I are actually going to be channeling live to together for you guys uh, because so much is changing you know this is the year of blessing spirit has been saying this recorded since December 30th of last year you know I started bringing in our holding space for the channel I mean if you look at all of the stuff spirit's been saying this whole year at the end of this year spirit's been correct and yet we still have such a hard time trusting our own intuition. So that really is going to be what the energy of this week is. Every single word in every single language has the potential to mean many different things. And yet one word is offered and so many people respond in one way. And Spirit says this week, how about you redefine the word and find a meaning that resonates with your soul? And you have to understand that so many of us speak different languages of love and different languages with source. So as this year continues, it is super important that we remember we have to learn to dance to the beat of our own drum instead of trying to find a dance and then dance to the beat of theirs because your drum as much as i love you it's a completely different tempo so you know this whole week look at the words that are flying at you in fact look at the words look at the words feel the feelings that are flying up in an attempt to meet what is flying at you. So as your reality is unfolding, what is meeting your reality? Who is meeting your reality? This is where the change happens. This is where your intuition matters because it all matters. Every life matters, every life, every moment. So this week, I want you not to push away the moments that scare you, not to push away the moments that we don't want to have, because then we got to bring that into next week and we're done with that, but to face the moments that are showing up with the confidence that you have changed and you are ready to face life the way you really want to. It's going to be a second by second by second thing. Diana, honey, I know this is something that is continuous for all the years that I have watched you online. You know, so much of what we're done with, we are done. We are done. And so much of our intuition is, all of our intuition is right on. When we are done, it's because we are done. Something that we are doing is not resonating with our soul. Do you know that people wake up at the end of their life and they look back at their life and realize that they lived the life they didn't want to live? Right. And then here you are watching this video. Are you living a life you really aren't happy living? It's not time to check out. It's time to let go and check in. Diana, you got to be willing to do what you've never done. This way you get what you've never had. And I will tell some of my old souls, how many times have we been done? And then here's five years later, 10 years later, 20,000 lifetimes later. At some point, you have to be done doing what you used to do so that you can start doing what you want to do.
You know, fear is so powerful, but it is a master manipulator. You know, I call dark energy the master distractor. So in any moment where you're looking at or focusing on stuff that doesn't feel good, pay attention. That is not of God. God is never going to say, hey, you beautiful girl, look over here at all this shit you caused. That's not God. That is the master distractor. And our choice is, do we want to respond or do we not? That's what we're done with. We are done being distracted from the life that we came here to live, Diana. This is why I say to you guys, when you're on the toilet, breathe. It's how you take your power back. Three breaths, wipe, flush, wash your hands and go. You know, if we don't start to do the little things that are healthy for us, how are we going to be able to receive the new things that are healthy for us? We're going to keep pushing healthy away because it's all we know how to do. You know, when I say we know how to push healthy away, we've been trained. And that's why we have this awareness that something's wrong. It is wrong. It's way off because it ain't true because you are so right on. Breathe that in. You are so right on. Oh my God, you mean I do matter? Yeah, you mean spirits hearing me, God, higher power? Oh yeah, in fact, here's your message, here's your sign. You are here because you matter and because you matter, this moment matters. And this is where you make it matter. And so you gotta start doing what matters, not what doesn't matter. You know, we always say this doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. So stop doing it. All right. Um, I just need you to know a lot of times I wish I could get rid of this headaches. Does it have to do with December 21st? Yes, guys, you are sensitive to energy and people have to understand the cosmos rule the world, right? The moon controls our tides. We are over 70% water. So as there is stuff shaking and shifting in the cosmos, thank God, because how do you think some of these wheels of ours are going to get turning? Um, we have to make sure that we balance ourselves. When you have a headache, there's your red flag. What are you not listening to? What are you not allowing? What is your body telling you that you're ignoring? You know, the fact that you have a headache, it's just a response to vibration around you and within you. And so a headache is just a misalignment. It's a dis-ease. And so this is where your work then is to ease in. Don't wait for the 21st to realize that the moon and the sun are playing ping pong with your head. <laughs> You know, take this time to appreciate the power of the world around us because it's time for you to really appreciate the power of the world within you because at some point, who will? You know, I know people are like, oh, yay, light your lighters. But no, really, like we are getting older every year. It's another New Year's. It's another New Year. It's another New Year. It's another Christmas. Like at some point, do you not see a pattern? And this year, our awareness has skyrocketed. And here you are saying, I have headaches and I am so done. And Spirit says, I am so happy that you've arrived. Now let's get to work. See, this is only half of it. Awareness is half of it. Playing with it. Deliberately utilizing it. That's the creative process. This is where you really do become the creator of your own life. So, all right, guys, people who are struggling right now, this is where we're going to have to let go a little bit, practice that faith we say we do have, right? There's no more, but I can't, but I can't. And then spirit says, to stop telling people that you believe in Jesus because we got to believe in what we believe in, period. And moving in, guys, we are going into the last of this year of blessings, Rolling into 2021, which is hashtag the year of receiving. Write that down, please, because this time last year, I want to say on December 14th, Spirit said 2021 is the year of receiving. How can we let in if we are trained to constantly push back, push out? It's getting a little hot in here. So it's time for us to not push anything. Just feel that. You mean I don't have to push against anything? No, you don't. Just stay here for a moment. 
Just be here with me. Oh my God, you didn't die. <laughs> You're okay. Like that's where we go to the silence, to that peace. That's like the, the core of your intuition. That's your truth. And that's not done. All right, guys, I love you. I want to thank you for waiting till 4.15. That's my birthday. Uh, till 4.15 to get your message this week. Today's been a really big day. Please mark your calendars for The Great Conjunction, December 21st, next Tuesday. David and I are going live, and we are doing live transmediumship, live channeling. Like, I'm going to take this engine for a ride in front of all y'all. Why? Because you've asked for it. All right, guys. I love you. I think you are phenomenal. Phenomenal. I know it. I see it. But you got to want to see it too. All right. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.